what's up i know that it's been a while i really wanted to film this week but things got a bit chaotic so i figured i'd come on now while i have some time i apologize the ice cream man is being really damn obnoxious outside but i don't want to halt all of this while i have the time um so i'm gonna just jump right into it today's video i think i want to do what some of my makeup predictions are for 2024 and then kind of executing that look. Um, so I'm gonna go into the primer to begin with. And this one is the one that I'm working on with the lab currently. Um, I love it out, my nose ring is really sensitive because I switched over. I got my nails done yesterday and then I decided it was a good idea to change my nose ring and it was a shit show. It was a real shit show, so. I apologize and if it looks like really red and inflamed. Um, okay, I'm gonna go in with my Rare Beauty Brow Gel. Should I turn on these lights behind me? Should I set the vibe? I'm gonna set the vibe. What color should we do today? Ooh, it's picked one for us, kind of. Orange, red. I kind of like the red even though it's giving like Christmas, but I am wearing my Freddy Krueger shirt today, so this one's kind of nice. All right, I'm going to go in with the Rare Beauty. So what I'm thinking this year is thin brows are back, say goodbye to fluffy brows, and I'm thinking that we're moving into our matte skin era now. Era. Era. No. Um... I need to buy another one of these. I saw that they came back in stock and I am slacking because this is the best brow gel on the market, I think. So I was gonna place a Sephora order to try the new Anastasia, but if you guys have tried it and if you have difficult eyebrows, can you tell me what you think in the comments down below? Because I'm hesitant to even waste money when I know this one is that good. Child, please, child. She's gone. Okay, I'm gonna go in with the Anastasia Brow Powder Duo now. And I'm just gonna take the lighter side of this one is granite. Is it? Yeah, granite. And I'm gonna go ahead and just define what's already there. My brows are currently on the thinner side for me. So I'm just gonna make them a bit darker at the tail and defined and I'm doing that while the brow gel is like a little bit tacky so let me know if you guys have any what are your predictions for this year tell me if you think I'm right tell me if you think I'm wrong but I think we're going back into grungy like matte skin minimal under eye coverage uh not really highlighter we're gonna smudge out like pencil liner in our lash line i think metallic lips are gonna make a comeback like metallic nudes uh, i'm not gonna be doing that today but i also think that this is gonna be the year where we do lip stains too even though we've been doing lip stains but i feel like it's gonna be a lip stain kind of year um, what else? I can't think of anything else right now. I think as I go through it and I pull, cause I pulled products specifically for this. Oh, I think that if we do play with like shimmers, oh, barely any blush. I don't think that we're really going to be doing blush. Um, what else? Minimal blush, minimal highlight. We're definitely gonna be sculpting and contouring again. I think that that is definitely something we're gonna be doing. You know what, I've been thinking, why am I holding this mirror when I have my Mel Cosmetics one from the um, collection? The Halloween sound collection, I'm gonna grab that. My mirror's too big and I'm always scared that I'm out of frame. So, I still have it in the little, I still have it inside of the, um, bag that it comes in but this is perfect because I could like look up 
and talk to you guys at the same time. Um, so yeah, I'm thinking no, like very minimal blush or we're gonna go more towards the, those really, really neutral tone blushes. I think pink blush is going bye-bye. I think the pink under eye is going bye-bye. Um, this is what I'm hoping anyway, but I'm catching the vibes. I'm catching the vibes. I think that that's where we're going with it. Um, I whipped out some glitter liner because I feel like if people are going to do glitter, it's going to be actual glitter, not just like shimmer. Uh, let me put on my Givenchy lip balm while I, I need some color to my lips. And this is a favorite of mine. I know I said that a favorites video is coming, but I'm telling you guys, this one, if you want a little tint and you have no makeup, like I have no color to my lips almost. And it is the perfect, the perfect thing. All right, skin. I'm gonna go into my Huda. I'm gonna put very little and it's not very bright. I'm using the faux filter. I'm going to put just that there. And then I'm gonna go into my Givenchy Prism Libre Skin Caring Matte Foundation. This is one of my top foundations for all of 2023. That's gonna be in my video as well. So if you have dry or normal skin and you're looking for a foundation that is matte and not too dewy and doesn't feel heavy, this is the foundation for you. It is just so, so, so good. All right, I need a foundation brush. I'm just gonna go in with this one here. This one's great for creams. Um, bronzers. I have this one in our regular line, so. Mine doesn't have a number on it right now. Oh wait, it does, 8-1. So it's the 8-1 brush. And it is sold individually, but it's normally green. So I'm just gonna blend that into the skin. And it is so weightless, comfortable. Like, this is one of the most beautiful foundations ever. Hands down. Okay, hair. Get out of here, bro. I'm also sorry if you hear my daughter. I'm gonna try to do some noise canceling uh, when I edit the video to see if I could get rid of the ice cream man in the back because he's a jerk. He's a jerk at this point. But it just blends so easily into the skin as well. Like it just looks like skin. And it reminds me of like, 90s skin you know like the bare minimum maybe some powder but it still looks like skin especially as it sets more just running over my nose a little bit i'm not gonna go over my eyelids because i kind of want to keep that color that's on there like the best foundation this is the best one of the best foundations. Like, I just can't. I urge you to try it, please. If you save your coin, save your coins, and pick up the Givenchy Prism Libre Skin Caring, Skin Caring Matte Foundation. So damn good. All right, now I'm gonna go in with my Ritual Defeat. Um, this is, it says Inner Glow Cream Pigment. This one is an Eros. I'm gonna use that to sculpt my face. You can see it right here. And I'm gonna grab a little brushy brush to see if I could apply that with this e.l.f. one. This, not e.l.f., oh my god, I'm losing my mind. This melt one. I, I don't know if this is intended for eyeshadow. I can't read anything on the brush, but I'm just gonna apply it and kind of like paint it on with this brush. And like I said, I don't think that we're gonna really be do, doing bronzing, but I think that we're gonna be contouring. Definitely think we're gonna be contouring, so I'm gonna be taking some of that. I love contouring underneath the nose, even if it's not like my whole 
nose. I love the under nose contour to give a little bit of lift. And then I will kind of take what's left and run it up the sides of the nose. And then a little bit here. I don't do it often, but when I do, that is what I do. That is what I do when I do. Um, okay, I need something a little denser than this. Come on, brushes. I feel like I cleaned you not too long ago. What's going on here? All right, I have this prototype I've been working on, so I'm gonna use that. Just gonna brush this into the skin um, and blend this gently. And then I could always build up as needed, which I feel like I might need to just a tad. It's such a good brush and it has like this, it's not necessarily sharp, but it's got this dips on the side and it kind of like hugs the face. It's really good. Let me know if you guys are interested in a brush like this um, in the future from Unearthly because I've been on the fence about it. Like, are people really interested in using a brush like this or are more traditional shapes more your jam? Right, I'm just building up that color some more. I'm going to kind of like tap a little bit more this time so I could keep that color there instead of it diffusing out too much. Yeah, I think that, that that's the look that I'm going for here. Like back in the day, I did not ever wear blush when I was younger. Let me know if you did. Did you wear blush? I'm gonna go back over the edges here with my foundation brush. There's no additional product on this. I'm just gonna make sure that this is blending seamlessly into the skin and make sure that I don't have any other cream products and I don't see any other cream products. So then I'm gonna go ahead and set my face. I'm gonna use the Huda Beauty. Um, I'm using the cupcake shade. This is the Easy Bake Loose Setting Powder. <clears throat> and I'm gonna take another prototype brush and just kind of set under here, the T-zone. I'm not doing any baking with this necessarily, but I am going to just set and get rid of any shine that I ha might have in the center of my face. But once again, this foundation doesn't really, it doesn't really leave you shiny. So it's, I'm just gonna go in the areas that I want to stay really matte. Um, but this foundation definitely leaves you like natural, with a natural matte skin, how your skin would normally look with nothing on it. And what I like about it too is that it isn't super full coverage. Like if you see my face really up close, you could still see my freckles and stuff like that on my skin. So it looks super natural and pretty. What am I doing here? What am I doing here? Okay, I am going to do my eyes. Now, I recently purchased, where is it? I swore I had, did I take it out of the box? Is it right in front of me? I did. I did take it out of the box. I got the Urban Decay Eyeliner Pencil in Alkaline. And it is the most beautiful, like burgundy type of shade. And I wanna run this in my waterline. And then I'm gonna do a little bit on my upper lash line too. I don't necessarily think that the trend is gonna be burgundy. <laughs> but I think it is gonna be using pencil liners that are really dark, grungy, and like smudged out. So I'm just gonna apply that first and then I'm gonna run it a bit under the eye. 
I think that people are gonna use a lot of like grays, cool tone browns this year. I think this is gonna be the year. All right. Almost there, almost there. And then I'm gonna take a little bit up here as well in the outer portion of the eye. It doesn't have to be perfect because we're kind of gonna just smudge it out anyway. So I always get struggle getting really close to the lash line on my left eye. I don't know why. <laughs> um, all right, then I'm gonna take a small brush. What do I got over here? I'm gonna act quick. Be quick. I'm gonna take this Anastasia, this is ancient, but I'm gonna just kind of smudge that out here. And then up here. Same on this side. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. what I think and I think that we might still keep a little bit of this like lifted pointed thing what was it called siren eyes feline eyes fox eyes I don't remember which trend what what did they call it I don't remember I don't really keep up with that stuff but I'm just gonna messily blend this out under my eye and then I whipped out for this, which I think is the perfect palette for this, the Dark Matter palette. And I'm gonna get a fluffy brush and I'm just gonna take a big fluffy brush, right? And I want to go into this like more sandy shade here. I don't, I, lo I removed the piece of plastic and I don't know what it's called, but I'm gonna just run this in the crease. Yep, it's perfect. It's so perfect. Is there names underneath? Oh, here it is. It is called Discreet. <clears throat> so I'm gonna take this on this eye as well and I'm just gonna run this in here. It's such an easy, pretty look to do. I think that this would be even more successful with more of like a, a gray tone. I would love to use like a MAC paint pot um, like tailored gray or something like that. I think that that's the one I used to have. That would have been perfect with this. I'm gonna go with that same brush into this like light nude shade. And this one is called Blur. And I'm going to just go up here a little bit with it. Almost like you were really tired <laughs> and your makeup is still on there from yesterday. So. I'm gonna go in with those same two shades under here. So I'm going in first with Discreet and I'm going over that like burgundy shade. Oh, the ice cream man left, I just noticed. And then I'm gonna go in with Blur over here. Now you just hear my crazy child. Uh, <laughs> and then I really like the idea of then also having the option to do like a glossy lid because I feel like a glossy lid is really going to be in. Um, so I'm going to take my Ritual Defeat. Um, I forgot what this stuff is called. Ash. This is an eye soot and cultist. Um, this is a really cool toned taupey shade and I think that that would be perfect for this look. I'm going in with a Spectrum brush. I'm trying to make sure I don't take too much product, but I'm gonna kind of run this lightly over the lid like that. And I'm gonna do the same over here. I'm gonna build this one. I put more products on the other eye than this one. So I'm just gonna build this up a little bit it doesn't give like so much glitz, but it gives it that kind of like wet look. I'm gonna kind of, I'm going to also take some under the eye a little bit. And I know like putting red with gray with this brown doesn't usually make sense, 
but it makes sense for her. It really does make sense for this look in particular. So I definitely think it's like a 90s, 90s comeback thing. I think it's gonna be huge and it's gonna be my favorite because 90s aren't my favorite. Okay. Um, let's see here. I don't necessarily think that there's going to be no highlight, but I thought that if you were going to do a highlight, Twilight highlight would be great from Unearthly, um, which I thought I pulled out, but apparently I didn't. Um, I also pulled out a glitter as an option, so I'm going to kind of apply some of this Urban Decay Moon Dust glitter and do that in the center of the eyelid just to give that just to add on to that wet look and this one is in pyro and it looks like an iridescent white kind of vibe and literally i'm just applying this liner to the center gonna kind of use it to give even more of that like wet effect on the lid and it's got such pretty multicolored sparkles but it's not overwhelming it's not overwhelming it's so pretty oh I never put primer on my eyes oops I was supposed to go in with my Pat McGrath all right I'm gonna go in with the L'Oreal Voluminous in burgundy just to keep going with the burgundy vibes in my hairs burgundy too but i've been really into looking for the perfect colored mascaras lately this one gives like a nice hint like it really looks like my hair color on my dark lashes but i'm also looking for something really vibrant and bright i picked up the uh pat mcgrath ones and I like them. I think you guys are right, though. I'm going to have to buy a white primer before I go in with any of the colored. Because I just don't feel like colored mascaras show up on me. Like, they're way, way, way subtle. And I just want a colored mascara that I don't have to use a primer with. So, if you guys know of any secret shit out there, please let me know. Please, please, please. Oh, this is weird has Jurassic Park birds outside, I swear. So yeah, I'm just gonna finish this up and then I am also, I'm messily going onto the bottom lash line. Like I just don't even care if something gets down there cause it's part of the, it's part of the look, you know? But I also wanna do this again with like all grays and black cause or like lots of really cool toned browns. I think that that'd be fun. And I think I'm gonna add more of that red into my waterline after I blended it out. I feel like I want it a little bit more rich. There we go. There we go. And I'm thinking lip stain, if not like, a 90s nude but today I want to do a lip stain so I'm gonna take this off I'm gonna just take a cotton around here and I actually traveled with this and this is the ritual defeat lip oil but I also have a couple other options here that I haven't played with yet that I picked up so I have the ritual defeat thorn bite lip oil and this is in Dark Thorn. I love this. It is such a good color. It gives the perfect tint. It smells like, I love the smell of their products. They're like herbal, very witchy. I really like this. So I have this as something that I would wear with this look in particular. And then I kinda rub it in a bit with my fingers. Make sure I take off that excess product. So 
So I have that, but I also picked up a ColourPop. Is this one ColourPop? A glossy lip stain. And then I got the glossy lip stain from e.l.f. So I want to try that as well and see if we could kind of achieve this same vibe with those. So I'm just going to take that cotton again. And I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. one first. And this one is in the shade, where is it? Oh, I had it here. Oh, I can't read this. Berry Queen. It's in Berry Queen. Oh my God, it's so little. The packaging made it seem like it was gonna be so big. Okay. So I'm not gonna do it all over the lip, but I am gonna take my finger again and kinda diffuse the edges. I feel like this one is a little bit brighter than the Ritual Diffy, but you could probably mix it in with something a little bit cooler and get something close to that vibe. Also, one's a lip oil, one's a lip stain, two different things, but the effect on the lips is really similar right now. It's just this one's way brighter. <clears throat> The other one I got was the ColourPop Berry Ripe. This one seems much more red. Where are you? I need a tweezer or something, because I will break it down. Okay, let's see here. Like the size difference is just crazy. <laughs> like, look at that. That thing is, it's small. And I know I have large hands, like I'm a tall person. But that thing is tiny. It is smaller than our bullet lipsticks from the Dreamer collection. So there's that. Anyways, I'm going to try to wipe this off. Because remember, it's a stain. And it's successfully staining. Yeah, that's where we're at with the stain. But I also want to go over it with the ColourPop one. Oh, I see here. You get no name at the bottom once you take it out. So this is very ripe. Oh, this one's way more like watery. And this one is very bright as well. It's much more like fuchsia and very berry tone and there's like no glossiness to it the way that the elf one is um but i really like that why do lip stains always taste like shit they always taste like shit like you literally put food dye in your mouth so i'm just like blurring out the edges here but I think I'm still gonna go back to my ritual defeat just because it's so much cooler in tone it's so much more purple and I like that I like that more than the the berryness of these other ones just blending that in with an eyeshadow brush and we could kind of work with both but I want that like really bitten lip look yep this is a winner this is a winner these are my predictions for 2024 thin brows Say goodbye to fluffy brows, matte skin, minimal concealer, blown out lash lines, really smoky cool tones, barely any blush, nude lips, or lip stained lips. Um, that is what I'm thinking. Minimal shimmer. We're going, or not necessarily minimal shimmer, but like wet look. That's what I'm thinking of, like the wet look. 
I think that that's, I think that that's, holy shit, I'm gassy. I think that that's it. That's all I really have to say on the subject, but I have so much fun playing with these products today. And let me know if you guys enjoyed this too, because I kind of had fun with this style of video. Um, I feel like there was something else I wanted to talk about too. Oh, let's take a moment to talk about my crazy week. I thought I was supposed to have my road test this week. I have been sleeping so bad. I've been going to bed at like 3.30 in the morning, waking up at seven, taking the kids to school, work, 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 work. I'm hiring a new agent. I hired a new agent for customer service. Um, so we're gonna have two now. And I had to train. And so we've been in, in between training. Kids now go to gymnastics twice a week. Um, I went to Pilates on Wednesday, then I had an all day tattoo appointment to color in the tattoo, which we still didn't even finish. I still have to do my raspberries and ignore this because I took off the second skin shit and it's sticky and won't come off. Um, but yeah, I have that there, but our fruit bat, he's getting filled in and it's starting to look good, but I have to, um, work, do more work on the elbow color in the fruits and then his eyes he's gonna have like white zombie eyes it's gonna be fun um so that was all day on wednesday and then friday like i said i thought i was supposed to have my road test i got up i went there i practiced in the morning i went there it wasn't that it wasn't on friday and it's all due to my lack of sleep i've been making the stupidest stupidest mistakes i just don't <laughs> i really don't know what's wrong with me but let me know about your week. Let me know if you liked this type of video. Let me know what video I should film next. I am gonna be working on my favorites. I finally found this foundation, which is what I was waiting for. So maybe I'll hop off and I'll do that now. But I hope you guys have a great day and thank you so much for hanging out with me. If you can, or if you're not already subscribed, please feel free to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you again next time. Bye guys.